There was always a creative impulse in me, but I never felt rooted to anything. Scriptures and creeds may come to seem incredible, but faith will still go dancing on. In this play, we're dealing with relative truths, who's lying, who's telling the truth. But underneath that, Ed and I have hit this deeper level of intimacy between old friends that comes out in the play. Where wages are not regulated by law, all that we can pretend to determine is what are the most usual, and experience seems to show that law can never regulate them properly, though it has often pretended to do so. I like to spread myself out. Since I was a kid, I always recognized some void. When you're a father, you know exactly where your heart really is. There's no question of it, no doubt. That part of your life has no second guessing. It's a major part of world history that men are trying to kill each other. It's just one slaughter after the other. We talk about it, but no one's really listening. Trying different things is very important to me. I see people and want to wear their clothes and drive in their cars for a while. That's probably one reason I became an actor. I think we're struggling with trying to redefine various positions at this point in history. To allow freedom for women, freedom for men, freedom from those sharply defined gender roles. Don't just walk through the flames. Get your Fred Astaire on and dance through them. Joy is around everywhere, even when the night falls hard. A person must always be ready to kindle the candle in their heart and fill the void in their soul by unveiling into a courageous, peaceful, and loving person. I always see the light at the end of the tunnel before I enter the cave. <laughs>